He's on the fourth story right now, and it looks like he has finally found where the laser is coming from. <laughs> Why are you meowing? What's wrong? Are you scared? So, I have some news for you guys. Today's gonna be a good vlog, a really good vlog. I am personally so, so excited for this vlog. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be doing something insane. You guys know that I, I love my Legos, and I love my cats, Simba and Simon, and today we're gonna be making them the ultimate cat Lego mansion. This Lego mansion is gonna be for the cats. It's gonna be six, maybe even seven stories tall. I'll see how tall we can make it. It is going to be full of cat toys. I have tons of cat toys. More downstairs. This is gonna be the greatest video ever. Cats and Legos? I mean, you can't really go wrong. For those of you that are not familiar with my cats, um, here's Simba and Simon. Here's Simon. <laughs> Ow, your teeth are so sharp. And here's Simba. Hey, Simba. Cute little boy. All right, so Simba is the older one. He's not too playful. Simon, the younger one, super, super playful. I think I'll have a blast with this Lego mansion. But Simba, I don't know. It might be a little hard to get him to play with it. He's really scared of things. Not not too playful. He's old. He's kind of just like, I just want to chill and sit here for the next uh, 15 hours and don't touch me. Let's go ahead and get started with this thing. We're going to start by building the first couple stories. And what we're going to use for the flooring is going to be these boards. And I'm going to be cutting holes in these so the cats can climb up to the next floor. With that being said, cue the time lapse. I think someone is already enjoying the first story. Look at you. <laughs> he just crawled right in. I'm a little bit scared about these boards. They're stable, but they're wobbly. And you know how cats are. They get super sketched about anything that moves. I'm kind of worried that he's not going to like getting up here. Oh, wait. What are you doing, buddy? I'm trying to get him to come up on the top of the first story. I know you like this thing. It's got a ton of catnip in it. Oh, where are you going? Oh, this is kind of a test. Okay, it looks like he's uh, he's okay with sitting on this thing. Now, it is bending quite a bit. It's supposed to be up here, but it's all the way down here. Simon, you're a big cat. I think we're gonna have to reinforce this a little bit more. <laughs> so look how much he's bending the board. Gosh, at least he's chill with it. Yeah, you good, you like it? This is only the first story of like six more to go. I mean, I'm going to the ceiling. I hope you like it, I'm gonna spend a lot of time on this. There you go, there you go. Okay. I have an idea. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Simon literally just crawled up there all by himself. Didn't get on camera, unfortunately, but he got down, walked around, and then he came back. I think it's honestly because of these toys. These things are stuffed with catnip. Now, buddy, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take you off because uh, you are way too fat. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit you that hard. I'm not trying to punish you or anything, but oh, here you go. We're going to replace these foam boards with wooden ones. Now, these are going to be a lot sturdy. I mean, I don't want him falling six stories down, you know, if he sits right here perfectly and it breaks or something like that. A little bit of a change of plan, but let's replace the boards with these and let's make the second and third story. Come on, buddy. Come here. Are you excited? Look at this thing. Look at this. He's probably extremely nervous. He's like, uh, what just happened? It was one story. Now it's like four. This is where we're at right now. This thing is looking just ridiculous. It's turning out really, really good with the wood. Let me show you guys what we got. So this is the first story. Then we're going up to the second story. And you can see kind of how I positioned the boards in here. So this is an open spot where they can jump up here and then go up there. And then this is the third story right here. Then going on to the fourth story. My goal is to get these cat toys and hang them from the ceiling so I can play with them. And then on the first story, we're also going to have food and water for them. And hopefully we'll be able to fit this scratching post in here too. And we also have this laser that we're going to put on one of the stories. I think this will be really fun. What? Sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to scare you. This is our first cat toy. Simon's already staring at it. This thing is so long. I did not think it was going to be this long. You want somebody? <laughs> there you go. Come on. Come on. He doesn't seem interested right now. Maybe if I drag him look around like crazy. <laughs> okay, fine. This right here is our next cat toy. Jeez, these things are so long. I did not know they were going to be this long. This cat toy is almost taller than me, but I think we're going to hang this on the outside because, I don't know, maybe it'll encourage him to be like, oh, what's inside? And then this is our next one. I think we're just going to throw this on one of the floors. Kind of like right there. I mean, we need to take the tags off of it, but the lasers are going to be on the final story. So you definitely want to crawl up to that one. Speaking of the final stories, I'm going to start working on those now. We're going to build this one story right here. And then we have one more piece of wood. And then we're going to build another story. That should be almost at the ceiling at five stories tall. So I think I'm going to need a ladder, but let's do it. Oh my gosh, guys. So I got Simon to get up on the second story. Look at him. He's on the second story. I am so glad he likes this thing. Now, Simba's still downstairs taking a nap. We're gonna have to go wake him up in a little bit. I'm so glad you like it, buddy. Here, you, so let me take this ball. So these little Nerf balls are his favorite. He will actually run around the house with these. So let me put this right here. I know you want it. Come up to the third story. There's a bunch of toys up here. He's just like, nah, I'm just gonna chill right there. He's purring too. That means he loves it. Score! 
Simon has been sitting here for probably like 10 minutes or so. Has not moved, not even tried to go up to the third story yet. I'm sure he will soon, and then the fourth, and then fifth, sixth, there we go. But we need to build the next couple stories. Now I'm gonna leave Simon in there. I'm gonna try to build slowly, quietly, so he doesn't get freaked out, but I'm gonna try to leave him in there. Here it is, guys, the five-story cat mansion. This thing is seriously ridiculous. Real quick, let me give you guys a little bit of a tour. Now, this thing isn't fully set up. We still gotta put their water and food bowls on the bottom. We also gotta set up this laser and figure out where to put this thing. We got the first story right here, then going up to the second story, up to the third story, up to the fourth story, and up there is the fifth story. Five stories of cat madness. Now, before we bring the cats in here, and before we set up the rest of this thing, I need you guys real quickly to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you guys have already watched through this much of the video and you haven't clicked the subscribe button yet, you definitely need to. Otherwise, you're gonna miss out on crazy content like this that I'm uploading on my channel in the future. You guys are gonna miss out. You, you, seriously, I have some absolutely crazy ideas that are coming out to this channel, including ones like you just watched. If you haven't already, go down below, click that red subscribe button. Make sure it is not red anymore. But let's go ahead and finish this thing up and bring the cats in. Well, Simba, good morning from your nap. It looks like he has discovered the massive Lego house. Also, check out this laser thing. It literally just spins around. It's fully automatic. I think they're gonna go crazy over this once they see it up there. Simba is always very, very nervous. He's very scared of everything. Oh my gosh, he's actually going inside. No way. No way. <laughs> Get in there. He's like sniffing everything. We got both the cats in here. What? You already want to leave? Okay, I mean, if you really want to, I'll leave the door open for you. I'm not going to trap you in here. Okay, you had your chance. Simon sees the lasers up there. I, the lasers are on the third story. Four story contains this little squishy toy. And the fifth story is pretty much chill zone, no toys. Don't talk to me. I'm up high and I'm a cat. That's pretty much the uh, fifth floor. Where did Simon go? Oh my gosh, Simon's already on the second story. He sees the lasers. Oh, he sees him right there. <laughs> <laughs> Simba's like, yeah, I'm too old for this. You know, I did this when I was a kid, and uh, yeah, now it's just lame. Simba slowly but surely is entering the Lego. Wait, where did Simba go? Oh, I thought <laughs> I missed him for a second. It's so dark in there, I can't even see you, buddy. Are you gonna hop up to the third story? Come on, hop up there. Yay, Simba is officially in the first story. I don't know if he's gonna have enough courage to go up to the second or the third, but you know, that's all that matters, as long as he likes the first story, right, buddy? Simba, unfortunately, does not seem too interested. He keeps going in and out of the first story. I don't know. I'll see. It looks like he wants to go. You want to go, buddy? I'm giving you an opportunity. Okay. Okay. Opportunity. Why are you meowing? What's wrong? Can you not get the laser? Oh, he's going up to the third story. Look at him. Oh, there he goes. Up to the third story. <laughs> so I actually moved the laser to the fourth story just to try and get him up here. It looks like he is up on the third story right now. Oh, look at him. <laughs> It's crazy. I've now moved the laser up to the fifth story. I'm trying to get Simon to go up as far as he can, buddy. I want you to go up to the top. You gotta check out all the floors. And you haven't even played with this thing yet. So satisfying. That laser thing is so cool. It's just an automatic laser that just spins. Oh, you wanna go out, buddy? Okay, bye. See you later. Have fun. Have a good time. Up on the fourth story. <laughs> Guys, look how far up he is. He's on the fourth story right now, and it looks like he has finally found where the laser is coming from. <laughs> what? Why are you meowing? What's wrong? Are you scared? There's nothing to be scared of, buddy. You want to go back down? You can. I understand. This is your crib. It's uh, wh whatever you want. It looks like he wants to go back down, but he can't make up his decision. He's like, do I want to go down? Do I want to stay up here? This laser point is really weird. Uh, I'm just going to start crying and meowing. He's just kind of chilling. Okay, what if I take away the laser pointer? Maybe the laser is stressing him out too much. So I'm going to take it away. I'll put it down here. Maybe you can just chill up here, buddy. Maybe you can just chill. Also, I put the scratching post down here on the bottom just next to the house. Uh, it didn't really fit in any of the stories because this thing is is too tall so it's just kind of gonna sit there oh he is up on the fifth story oh my gosh i can barely see him hold on i gotta climb up on the step stool this thing is so tall oh look at him he's up on the fifth story 
I can't believe he actually climbed all the way up here. You are just the most adorable thing. We are almost to the roof. I mean, literally probably like 10, 15 more Legos and we'd be at the roof. But unfortunately, we don't have any more wood pieces. So I can't make any more floors. Up on the fifth story. All right, <laughs> guys, leave a like on this video if I should keep this Lego house here for the cats to play in. I really, really want to. This thing is so cool. I honestly just want to keep it here and just let them play with it. He's so adorable. He's probably gonna fall asleep and take a nap there, honestly. Oh my god. Hi. Hey, can I pet you? Here, you can climb up on the ladder if you want. <gasps> yep. <laughs> <laughs> he literally climbed up there all by himself. I mean, I did move the laser pointer floor to floor, but he kind of oh, worked. Wow. <laughs> he kind of worked himself up there. And now he's just relaxing. He's so cute. On the fifth story. He's still some room. What if you did another story? Well, I don't have any more wood. That's the problem. Aww. So I don't know how I'd make the floors. But I mean, this is enough, honestly. Like, this is five stories. Yeah. I mean, like, I would absolutely love to do a part two of this video where maybe we make a cat house that's even bigger. We can make it like double the size. I could probably run to the store, go get more wood because we still have a ton of Legos. This only used about, I would say, 600 Legos. And this box is still full. This box is half full. And these two boxes under here are full. And then I have another box out there that's full of Legos. So we still have a ton of Legos, we could easily double the size of this thing. Leave a like if we should do that. You're gonna take a nap, aren't you? Once I start talking and do the outro, you're gonna be like, oh my I can barely see. I'm not tall okay, enough. I got you. I got you. Uh, <laughs> Look at you. Uh, you're so cute. Uh. <laughs> That's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this massive cat mansion. I hope you guys have enjoyed. This thing was so cool to build. I had a ton of fun. I'm so, so glad Simon likes it. Kind of sad that Simba doesn't like it, but Simba doesn't really play with any toys. Um, he, he's getting pretty old. He really just sleeps all day. He's in that stage of his life where he's just like, I'm gonna sleep, don't touch me, and I'm gonna sleep, and don't touch me. And I'm still gonna be sleeping, but don't touch me. It's kind of hard to get him to play with toys and stuff, so this thing probably really intimidates him, and he's probably like, no. Everyone say goodbye to Simon. We would like for Simon and Simba. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Now, before you guys go, remember to click that subscribe button because if you don't, then you're gonna miss out on all the future videos that I upload on this channel. And if I decide to do a part two to this where I build a second Lego mansion uh, for the cats, I will definitely make it double the size. But if you guys don't click the subscribe button, you're gonna miss it. Also, before you guys go, if you are ever interested in picking up some unspeakable merch, we just dropped a ton of new shirts, hats, hoodies, tons and tons of new products. If you guys wanna go down to the description, it is www.unspeakable.co. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be seeing you guys not tomorrow, but the next day in a brand new vlog. Simon, do you have anything to say before uh, these people leave? No? No? Here. What about this? What about this? What that? Oh, he's like, are you serious? No, no, no. I just went from chill mode to not chill mode. Okay, I'll move it. I'll move it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will put it down here though. Maybe, maybe you'll come down here. I know, I know you want it. Look at the, look at the lasers. They move so quick. He's like, dad, come on. I want to go up another story. Oh, he looks like he wants to get down. <laughs> What are you gonna do, buddy? The laser pointer's all the way down here. I give up. You know, it's time for a nap. I've had enough. I've climbed five stories of this Lego house. You really expect me to climb down and play with this thing? No. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys not tomorrow, but the next day in a brand new vlog. You can't understand English, but you are adorable.